Hi, in this video, we will be sharing with you how to update your Shopee product SKUs and inventory level through the import and export function from your Shopee Seller Center. Firstly, go into My Products, then click on Batch Tools, Mass Update. You will be directed to a new page with multiple templates for you to select. Select Sales Info, then click on Generate for the system to generate the export file for you. Once the action column shows the download button, please proceed to download and open the file. Upon opening the Excel file, you will notice that it is under Protected View. Click on Enable Editing. Then go into File, select Info and click on Unprotect. But before we start filtering and editing the data, let's understand what should we look at. If there's only one line of product ID, enter both parent SKU and SKU. Enter the same SKU into both of the columns. And if there are more than one of the same product ID, only the first line requires the parent SKU to be entered. The subsequent lines do not need the parent SKU. However, each of the lines require SKU to be entered. Last but not least, let us have a look at the stock column. You can update the latest and most accurate stock quantity here if you are wanting that store to be your main store for inventory linking. However, please be reminded that your seller center will still be able to receive orders while you are working on this. When you import this file back into the seller center, these numbers here will override the current quantity that you have in seller center. We do not recommend you to take a long time to update this file if you are editing the stock quantity. With all this important information explained, we will now start to filter and work on the file. Click on column 3 to highlight the entire row. Then click on sort and filter, select filter. First, we will need to check if there is any duplicated parent SKU. Click on column E to highlight the entire column. Click on conditional formatting, highlight, highlight duplicate values. Click on OK. Now, all of your duplicated parent SKU will be highlighted along with the empty parent SKU columns. Please be reminded that the parent SKU will need to be filled for standalone products. If the product has four variants, only the first line needs the parent SKU. The remaining three lines do not need the parent SKU to be entered. And now, we will further filter to identify which standalone and product with variant have duplicated parent SKU. We will use the product ID, select the entire column and repeat the steps earlier. If your product ID column is highlighted and the parent SKU column is highlighted with the wordings, that means that you have duplicated parent SKU for product with variants. If your parent SKU is highlighted and the product ID is not highlighted, this means that the standalone product have empty or duplicated parent SKU. To clear rules, select the entire column, click on conditional formatting, clear rules from selected cells. Now, apply the duplicate values formatting to the entire SKU column. By now, you will be able to see which product with variant is having duplicated SKU. Make the necessary amendments to ensure that all the SKUs and parent SKUs are proper and correct. And you will also need to ensure that the SKU in Shopee are the exact same as the SKU in other marketplaces such as TikTok and Lazada. To upload the file, go back into Shopee Seller Center, click on Batch Tools, Mass Update, click on the Upload tab, Select the updated file and upload it into Shopee Seller Center. So this is how you perform mass update into Shopee Seller Center. Thank you for watching the video.